Alright y'all. I know I didn't upload yesterday and that's because, well, I'm sick. Again. Which is an un uh, uncommon thing for me actually. I've never been sick again so fast in my life. But like, uh, you know, I got my voice. Just, you know. I actually feel a lot worse this time than the last time I was sick. But you know, y'all. Can't go days without uploading like this. Alright, the audio is cool. So, Steph PG3 here. And I have arrived into Ace Attorney Trilogy. We're gonna start. <clears throat> I'd be free. Oh, it's, it's this one, right? Yeah, this one. June 21st, 9 48 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number three. What? <clears throat> Prosecutor Von Karma, you mean? No, I heard it's his successor this time. Success? Successor? Man, Fred Von Karma was, was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks so he could win. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. Wait, didn't, uh, who said it? Somebody told me it was his daughter. Who told me that? That was in the last episode. Bro, also in the last Ace Attorney episode, bro. Pearl called Phoenix Nick, and I somehow forgot that Maya called... <laughs> Phoenix Nick. Even though I've low key forgot why she called him that. Because I don't think Nick is nowhere near in this man's name. But <laughs> he had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those ver guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they would turn out to be. It's no good. Mystic Maya? Pearly? You showed up. Thanks for coming all this way. I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. So she said they have training for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then, then you came all by yourself? Yep. And I snuck out of the manor and followed the map. Snuck out is kind of crazy, bro. That's, that's not safe. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. <coughs> of course not. I ran. That's, I can't. Oh my. If it take two hours by train, oh man. Bro, if it's two hours by train, bro, how long was this little girl running? How old is, bro, she like eight, right, bro? An uh, eight-year-old running for for more than two hours is crazy. Curly, what about the train? Huh? What's a, tra a train? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Father Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Juan Carmel. Mr. Edgeworth? Who was that? <laughs> um, he's the next rival. Oh, he's also a friend. I still remember him as though I see him only yesterday. Every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. Always back and forth with them. But when you're rhymes for life. Maya, please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot I forgot you don't know. He he's he's gone and he's not coming back. What? Wait, wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. Nick? Yeah, buddy, retire, bro. At least that's how it looks now, man. 
So I, I'm honestly curious who like we're going to consistently go against moving further. So uh, June 21st, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Bro. Court is now in session for the trial of my affair. Or the prosecution and the defense prepared. What is with this kid? How old is she? Oh, she's not up here. Mm hmm. Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Huh? Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, like, the proper voice to give her. As y'all know, all the girl characters I try, they really all sound the same. I can't. My voice is not versatile when it comes to doing girl voices, y'all. Y'all know this. That at this point. Well, if y'all knew, then y'all don't know. But I try. You must be a little shocked because I'm a woman, correct? Hold on. So she's the famed successor to Prosecutor Von Karma? I'm French Francisca. Francisca Von Karma. The prodigy. I see. I gave up a Protestant career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. What is that? Is that a rope? Revenge? Is this about father, man, Fred Von Karma? Um, it's something of a personal nature. I'm sure you can... Whoa! I'm talking. Yo! Yo, she whipping people, bro. If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg you. I beg you. Yo! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix, right? Bro, she out here. Oh, she's 18? I mean, man, she's the same age as Maya. That's kind of Crazy. Man. This is low key a young a young case here. Everybody's young besides them two. I mean Maya don't count. I said Maya. Mia don't count, you know, because she's dead. <laughs> like RIP R though. Prosecutor Von Farmer, your opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. The defendant, my affair, will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defense position? Your Honor. Does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. Bro, she really just like her pop, bro. I don't think he 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 wouldn't have said ten minutes though. But he would have said like five. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense plea? Oh well, he didn't say plea, but I I said it. A plea usually reserved for when a person intentionally kills in defense of themselves. We could very easily make a solid case that it was a self-defense, but... The defense stand by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because the plea justifies self-defense is just to say you did kill someone. How foolish. Bro, didn't he also bow or something too? Bro. She really got this man's man. Why? Why does her just say Von Karma? That did, did Von Karma also did, was his like that too? Or did they just? I think it was. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix, right? And I shall now call a first witness. She's just as scary as her father, like father, like daughter, I suppose. Of course, dumb show the first person. Witness your name and occupation. Now, yes, sir, my name is Dick Gumshow. I'm a detective at the local prince. prince Yo! Get to the point already. 
explain to the court details of this murder. Bro, she really out here whipping people, bro. Judge, is that a lot? That's not legal, bro. I don't think you should allow her to do that. Yes, sir. Um, if everyone please look at this map. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were, what were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Ch channeling a spirit? That's quite the look of disbelief there, your honor. Uh -huh. Anyway, a few moment, moment, minutes after the channel started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down, rushed into the room. Yeah, uh, and that's when they found the, that the victim was already dead, correct? Hmm, <clears throat> I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever pr presided over. Floor plans, okay. So, how was the victim killed? <coughs> Not for you. I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time then. Cause of death. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from a point blank range. Before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause inst instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. But this one, I don't understand. Where could Maya have gotten a pistol in there? It would literally be impossible, because she... Like, like how? I don't think... The only one really would, that would have a gun there is Gumcho, and he wasn't there. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim autopsy report, sir. You know what's funny? I remember when I first uh, started playing this game and I didn't know how to pronounce autopsy. And I, I just, and I really, I really looked it up after I said I was going to look it up and here we are. <coughs> the court accepts it into the evidence. Mr. Wright. You may question the witness. <clears throat> Cause of death. Alright, y'all know how this goes. <clears throat> but old viewers, I normally just skip this to see what he says. Let this sounds out of place so far. I should try to learn more about the murder weapon for now. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshow, whose pistol was it? <clears throat> It was the victims. The victim. Now, why would he have. Objection! I think I could get that down. Why would he. <coughs> yeah, I don't know, y'all. I call as soon as I try to do it. I don't, I don't think it, I don't think I should do it. Why would he have a, have a pistol? Who cares? Yeah, nah, that don't. I, I gotta hear it again. I gotta hear it again. The point that you're mi you are missing, whose fingerprints are on the on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints. There were fingerprints, along with the victims. The defendant, Maya Faze, were also in the grip, sir. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Uh, I walked right into her hands there. Point blank, huh? So about how far is that? It's anywhere between 12 and 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Tiss, tiss, tiss. Mr. Phoenix Wright. I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish court country. Bro. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does he say foolish so many times in a sentence, bro? Look. She also do the thing her dad be doing, bro. That, that family, man. Hey, excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When well, something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around a bullet hole. <clears throat> <clears throat> the 
gunpowder. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a, a bullet fire and that and that gets real hot, pal. There were the there were definitely some gunpowder powder burns left in the Victoria. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that either. So yeah, they, they just both taught us something. Stabbed, and what was he stabbed with? <coughs> a fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? it? Looks like it belongs to the Faze, sir. Of course, my Faze fingerprints are all over it. Hmm, all over it, huh? This does not look good. Ha ha ha! What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix? Right? How severe was the wound? If I had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. If they're stabbed like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. Testimony makes it sound like my head stabbed him with him with an intent to kill. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as sure as sure can be. Don't look at the wounds and you come to the same conclusion too. A fool is a fool who only, who only listens to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead a po at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix, right? Grr, what a pain. That's enough! We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. The court. Very well, the court accepts them into evidence. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this, at this time. And two murder weapons, both of the defendant fingerprints on them, huh? Hmm. This does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally, like realist, like I just want to know, like realistically, who who was Von Karma risen up to have a daughter? Like, bro, what? How did how did that happen, bro? What her mom at? Bro, that's crazy. I just asked what her mom was at. Cause. Cause like y'all think our mom also got white hair and was from Germany? You know Von Karma, he you know he probably traveled around a little bit. You know that man was like sixty something years old, so I would assume that his wife would also be around that age. And he and Von Karma, but he not even did. It's, he didn't die. He had a heart attack. Yeah, he had a heart attack. So going from bad to worse as if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme your honor feel free to slam that little gobble of yours after all there's no room left for doubt is there <coughs> this is quite true mr wright y yes even in the face of all this do you still wish to plead not guilty it's our opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea you should stay in the loop See, just as promised, Mr. Phoenix, right? You will change your plea in less than 10 minutes. What will you do, Mr. Ward? Will you change to justify self-defense because now will be the time to do so? This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this through all the way. Nah, nah. Because if you plead, if you plead justifiable, justify self-defense, <coughs> then it makes her seem guilty it makes her it makes her seem like she did it if you please justify self-defense you would basically be confessing to murder after the trial Maya's life would be ruined and she'd be labeled a murderer I can't let that happen your honor I have you reached a conclusion Mr. Wright the, the defense would not change this plea we will accept nothing short of. <coughs> we will accept nothing short of complete. Equitable. <coughs> Bro. I feel like I said that wrong. 
and she whooped me again. You, you have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix, right? Detective? Y yes, sir? Present the final portion of your testimony, the final strike. <clears throat> uh, y yes, sir? Now, see, your proceedings are run by... Go! Oh, yes, of course, go ahead, Detective, give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. <coughs> nah, she really is like her pop, bro. She come in here acting like she owned the courtroom. And they be letting it happen. Sorry, bro, but there's even more incriminating piece of evidence. This, the, this is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defender attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So this is the costume. There's certainly is evidence of back spray of blood on this. This play, this piece directly links my to the f my fate to the crime, sir. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. All right, Mr. White. Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes? Could this situation get any worse? Heh, <laughs> what's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecutors have to offer. Feel free to soak off with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix, right? Please stop calling me by my full name, it's disturbing. Alright. Go ahead and that Von Karma, that Von Karma, she thinks she can decide the verdict with the testimony alone. But I'll find a critical contradiction somehow, then I'll have her. Why didn't you say so in your testimony earlier? <coughs> uh, you're kind of scary today, you know, pal. Oh no, that's alright. There is no need for that kind of attitude in my court. Oh, all right, just please stop glaring at me like that. Maya's costume. Yeah, she was wearing this when we arrested her. Maya, she's wearing her channeling costume today, too. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? I've definitely never seen Maya in any other, like, fit besides that. This blood on the, cl on the costume. Lab results show that it is the victim's blood. Hmm, so there is some blood from the victim's on, victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So were there any other clues you could glimpse from this piece of evidence? Uh, well... If you must change the topic... <coughs> Bro, every time I try to do a voice for her, I cough. I, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad. Not enough time. Let's move on. <coughs> uh, yes, Miss Von Karmer is perfectly correct. Uh, now even the judge is on her side. <coughs> but if I bite off more than I can chew here, what should I do? <coughs> I'm not going to lie, y'all. You know what I always say in that situation. Go big or go home, bro. You got to keep pressing. Why is Mrs. Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. There must be something about this costume. I just have to look harder. Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma logic is perfect. There is no way for you to poke a hole in it. Uh, looks like my time is up. So about the costume. Let me see. Let me go to my. I wish I could see. I wish they'd let you the little you know do that scan thing. But it's definitely something wrong with that, John. It's definitely something wrong. Your Honor. 
actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Where's the problem you were talking about? Come this far, there's no turning back now. The problem I have with this piece of evidence is... Wait. Is this a hole? This has to be it, right? <coughs> Ask the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There's a tiny hole here. A, a hole? But that wasn't in the report. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder. <clears throat> it looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you make is that it must be a bullet hole. Order, order, order. <clears throat> this is a very grave matter. Especially correct the court record first before anything else. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. I is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony that just now was a fluke, nothing more. How can, <coughs> how can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. Well, I agree. It is a mistake on the part of the police. What Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way! Detective Gumshow, please continue with your testimony. Y yes, sir. <coughs> he wasn't fighting back. How do you know if he was he was or not? You can find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle, pal. Hmm. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around the murder changed drastically. Ah, uh, we're in real trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim did fight back. That fine karma. She thinks she could just decide to burn her. It would have to be the clothes. So it's, it, it has a hole in it. So that means he did fight back. <coughs> Detective Dick Gumshow. Y yes? <laughs> have you called me by my full name is kind of a weird feeling. You said that my client killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what may I ask is the bullet hole you police overlook supposed to mean? Uh, um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means the victim had fired off a shot. And this, and this what it means, not fight back? Is this what it means to not fight back? Uh, uh, you're right. It seems you are correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then... It would change everything. Alright, the wind seems to be shifting. Ha. <coughs> huh. What is with that? Are you finished yet, lad? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Miss Von Karma? It seems that my affair was shot at by the victim. However, that is only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said. They rejected justify self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Uh, now that you... Why, that's right. Bro, would you stop? What you mean? The defense has yet to prove anything at all. No. Well, yes, that's true. Furthermore... 
attest to just the fact that there's a bullet hole in the costume. Not enough substantiate and even a plea of justified self-defense. Huh? How so? Uh, don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information we acquired added in, of course. Huh? You mean by myself? You want me to put together the scenario all by myself? Ha! Ah! Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Bro, she keep like, bro. I don't. Bro, bro, hey, she kinky, bro. Why? Why is she? Why is she whooping everybody? Why is she just carrying head around? Is that normal in Germany? Do y'all be doing that? <laughs> During the tournament, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but the, because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm, the scenario I put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright, on the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Look, please restrain from glaring at me like that. Now and then, your cross-examination, please. Okay. This testimony certainly makes us look bad. But there's gotta be a contradiction there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. There's quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Adding body strength, and it seems unlikely that the defender could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mentioned it, yeah, I guess. You think you can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix, right? Maya Faye was in the middle of channeling, was she not? When channeling with the current Kareem channel technique, the medium physical, physically changes. With the nurse's build, the defender could have easily been a match for the doctor. I don't believe it. She even study up on the curing, curing channeling technique. Like I said before, I am perfect. <coughs> um, uh, about what you were talking about, I didn't quite get it. Um, uh, never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. Oh, oh, uh, I did not mean to do that. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. But if you think about the blood loss, he was probably hurt pretty bad. <coughs> How bad did you say he was, he was? Actually, I went to give blood the other day. And afterward, I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe... I guess the damage was maybe about 10 times the dizzy. Ah. Sorry. Bro. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Ray, specifically bought it for that day. But a handgun? He got off he got it off the back market about two days before the murder. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? Was he taking press press precaution against something? victim took a shot because they were too close he missed bro this this look like a whole revolver bro I just feel like but well, we can check it I just feel like the hole would be a lot bigger than that bro we definitely would have to come back to this, cause other than that, it will only be the knife as evidence. We gonna go in and we gonna try it. I feel like it's this. I feel like it's that. Missing the tiny hole in this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. Eh? What do you mean? 
And just little holes actually create a huge hole in your testimony. Hey, explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Inside the two of them were fighting, but the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where is the gunpowder burn on this clo on this costume? The gun gunpowder burn. This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. <coughs> oh! But there is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. This is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? <coughs> this means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. <coughs> I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix, right? You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything that way. <coughs> then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then when they were separated that he fired. How was that? As if that was even possible. According to the testimony, the wound from the stamina was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. Well, then... That's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There, that should satisfy even you. Hmm, that does make an awful lot of sense. <coughs> what do you think, Mr. Wright? You must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Concentrate and think. Oh, I didn't mean to... No, I didn't mean to tap. Bro, I didn't mean to tap A, hey, bro. a fatal flaw in that argument your honor bro i'm glad because i didn't mean to tap a and it really cooked me very interesting i would love to see where this flaw is show me something that contradicts my explanation there has to be a snag in our explanation somewhere she put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow and when she was about to strike the doctor took his shot there must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking bro obviously this because this also had a hole in it so but i don't think they know that but it, it would have to be this this is the piece of evidence that destroyed your logic what is that a folding screen i would like to point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen ah it looks like you've already know what i'm talking about who where what Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are those two really that clueless? The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed to a height of approximately eight inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but actually squatting low to the ground. Or, or... This changes everything. Please look at the diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. And the bullet hit this folding screen. If it hit at this location about eight, to eight inches off the ground. At this time, the defender was, was in this area. Bro. If he was... If it hit this and he was on the ground then it would have to be over here cause like how else would it w wait a second we know that <laughs> it was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole but how can you gauge the distance from that 
isn't it possible that the isn't it possible that the vi defender was standing much closer to the victim? That's impossible. But why? You of all people should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Karma. If she was shot from somewhere close, there would be gunpowder burns present. There would be gunpowder burns present. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Ah, curse you, Mr. Phoenix, right? You, hmm, I believe they have now been proven that. The defender was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. Her. Did you think it has changed the defender's situation? It changes everything because it makes, because like, like, it changes everything. There's no way that it's her fault. After y'all say she shot him, I mean, even at the end of the day, I feel like, I feel like she did, not Maya, the nurse murdered him. But in that case, it would mean that Maya murdered him, right? <coughs> so it, it had to be something, someone else, bro. <coughs> Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecutor has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, the delivery of the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at this time? Squat all the way by the folding screen. Exactly. If Maya Faye was the real murderer, <coughs> why would she be? Why would she be folding? Why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing the strike? <laughs> On further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving that logic behind everything is your job. Alright, with this, this the rest of the trial should be in the But well, there she go. Last radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix, right? To think that you've been able to take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa has a tough time with you. Hmm, you amuse me. Uh, of all things to inherit, why did it have to be that smir that smirmy smile? <laughs> Detective, how dare you damage my perfect logic? Uh, huh? How is it all my fault? You can start by preparing your stand your standing by first removing that three strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. Punish? Bro, what is she gonna do to this man? Punish? Well then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call on the next witness. Next witness? That's gotta be Lada. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. If we, we, we reconvene, reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. And to be continued, y'all know what that means. Y'all know what it means. It's time to end the video. Oh, man. Find Karma's daughter, bro. She really is just like that, man. Um, My fault, if, you know, if I, you know, Eric, the, the passion and the emotion in the voices wasn't there today, you know. But, hey. Hey, at least it's out, right? I guess. <laughs> You're probably like, buddy, you chatting, bro. You chatting. Do this better when you're healthy. Honestly, I just really wanted to get back on this game. I haven't played this game in a while. So I just, I really miss playing it. But, you know, it seemed like a man just can't stop being sick nowadays, I guess. Hopefully I get better soon. Because, you know, obviously Mother's Day coming up. And I'm going out, taking my mom out, so... Yeah, but that is the end of the video. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Turn post notifications on. I hope y'all have a good rest of y'all day. Um, I'm not gonna lie. As of right now, I'm ending this video at 10:41 a.m. By the time y'all see this, it'll probably be 1 p.m. If you're on the east, west, I don't really know what time y'all might see this, but hey. But yeah, I'm out, y'all.